Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the Joyride Podcast. This is episode? Five. Five. You're not even sure. <laughs> no, five. <laughs> this is episode five. Uh, my name is Ben Saiko. My name is Wanjiru. And on this podcast, we just have good vibes, um, inspirational content. We just share about our experiences. And we talk about uh, our own journey, in um, our own experiences in the relationship journey. How have you been, Wanjiru? My week? Mm. My week has been incredible. I'm trying to figure out how my week was. Mm. It started in Kitale, mm. then it's been oh, a Kitale, slow week. Kitale no, it's actually been a slow week. Mm-hmm. But glad that um, I have another week's break. Yeah. Then it's back to marathon. You have one week break. Yes. What are you doing in that one week? It's for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> okay, well, I'd no. to Instagram. But yeah, yeah, I've been well myself. You thought who told Thanks me you need asking. a break from me, so I'm finally <laughs> granting you that break. <laughs> Oh, thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but my week has been okay myself. Uh, just up and down. We've been pushing the journey. We've been doing a lot of interviews. Pushing Yahweh. Yeah, pushing my new song, Yahweh. Um, you guys just go subscribe, road to 50K. <laughs> <laughs> the and usual. Yeah, nothing much, man. Just just, just living the, the life. Uh, we don't know what Putin, Putin is planning for us. So. You want to say Putin? Putin, Putin. <laughs> we don't know what Putin is planning uh, you know that thing will also affect you in some sort of. Thank you for this other. historical class. I yeah. will get back to you <laughs> once I am ready. So, so, man. But the mm. conversation that we're going to be, in fact, before we go to the conversation, I think we need to read some of the feedback, some of the comments that we've been getting. We've been getting some very nice comments. Mine are so nice. Mine are so nice. Do you I want to start with your it? comments or should I start with mine? Wait, I have to get mine. I had I it just here. Start. I can start. Let me even start with Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, he Jared podcast, Nipo Asana. This is from Ben. Use their um, tones, though you imagine. Oh, Ben Karimi. This is Ben Karimi. He jo- he, he joined a podcast ni poa sana. I see uh, you. <laughs> Mark Mark Chalo is saying, why haven't the Joyed pod? Why haven't the Joyed podcast posted nani Wednesday? Nani hot? This is Mark. Thank you so much. So Mark. should we say this one will go up on Wednesday? I would want us to be go- uploading these videos on, on, a, on a Wednesday, but... Yeah, selfie. <laughs> yeah, what it's up about to you? you? Yeah, oh, this Wednesday. is all up to the, yeah. the editor selfie. Yeah. And then uh, there's another one. There's another one. We're only reading the positive ones, eh? <laughs> yeah. We read all of them. No, I, <laughs> I came for Brian last time. I think we should go easy. Yeah, we're going to get attention. But it's all love. Um, I could read one. Someone says From here, when? been in a relationship where I completely lost myself mm. and felt that I had to work, and she quotes, work mm. so hard for love and validation, like for five years. Mm. Wow. I completely morphed into what I thought was the woman he needed Mm -hmm. and still fell short all the time and never felt good enough. Mm. Pretty enough, like, wow. He never let me be my authentic self. The relationship had so many rules and guidelines and expectations from dressing to conversations. Mm. Yuck. I love... From dressing. Imagine. Mm. To even converse... To what? Conversations. Imagine. Mm. I love your concept of accepting me and my partner's authentic self. And I think that's what the joyride is mm, about. Yeah. To create that space where people can be authentically themselves. Yeah, where people can just be real and, you know, just organic. And just be, be yeah. yourself in, at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, let me check out some comments also on YouTube. Um, most of them are just laughing at the joke where I say, mm. where I'll go on a holiday with my therapist. I love when people wake up and go, what happened to me as a child? That was I funny. Babe, I feel like you didn't get enough toys, you know? <laughs> like, so funny, babe. Yeah, about Nini in Lete and Billy. And then on Instagram, there's somebody who sent me a message. I don't want to mention their name but, uh, because I work with Nambi mentioned their name. Mm-hmm. But if you want me to mention your name, just tell me. And hide ID. Alice Eva. Uh, oh, that was a nice convo on Joyride. We really enjoyed it with my husband. And it has helped oh, us to speak nice. about marriage. Baraka to you and your wife. Thank, Thank you so you. much for such amazing feedback, man. That's beautiful. I'm going to talk on Facebook. I'm sure my dad has sent me a couple of messages. <laughs> yeah, also something interesting happened. I met with um, a joy rider, with somebody who's a genuine fan. And I was so happy to EJ. meet me, man. Mm. His name is EJ. Mm. He was so excited. He actually did something that... I, have I ever met somebody who's done this before? I don't think so. It moved you? Yeah, that was really mm. nice of him. EJ sent me money. He was like, you guys inspire me so much. I like your music. And... 
just like that he sent me money. So kuna mtu hapa mm. mimi mm-hmm. kuna Justin yeah. hapa kuna mtu <laughs> mwingine Barack kuna Shege It's a whole team but mimi nilikula hiyo pesa lakini kati yetu iko wapi kuna mkumbuki ya NOS mzee venye kuna ndanga huko but 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 that was so kind plus also alisema mapema mambo ya music so maybe share nyu hapo ni ka 30% the 88 series but thank you so much 16 bob you know you know did you find mkate kitobo flow yeah let's do yeah. this one so thank you so much ej man thank that you. was so kind of you yeah So today's conversation, conversation is a start party conversation. Mm-hmm. If you're not familiar with that, it's like the kabash that you have before if you're a chick before you get married, the one that you, bridal shower I think is more popular. And then for you guys it's called what? For you if it was the Christian Bible study yeah Ben before <laughs> our way. that was what for Ben it was. We should a crusade. We have a small revival so, meeting. Disclaimer, we will share our own experiences if we can at the end of this video, but this is all a very I want to say hypothetical. Can you say hypothetical situation? Why is it hypothetical? So if you had like the ideal stack party. Oh, if you had the ideal So one. we are answering our questions if we were in like that stack party but we will share our experiences so wait so that you can understand vizuri mm. and pia guys at home mm. so um we are answering if if we had a, the perfect stack party this yeah. is what these are the questions we would be yeah. asking ourselves yeah right? yeah songs of solomon but then we had some some interesting times over there you know like um, guys shared the save it for the end of the video <laughs> oh yeah that's yeah. that's what that's yeah. now so all right so I go fast as always <laughs> all right ben this is 16 Mm. There are stories of people who skip out of wedding ceremonies, basically run away brides or grooms mm. in movies mm. who don't end up getting married. At what point <laughs> during your wedding day did you think <laughs> was the point of no return? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm coughed to this chick forever. No, that's that's really funny. I'm just like those for those guys who run away. I don't know. Can you can hire gear for drug dealers? I'm not joking. I don't know. Like, oh, like ah, my life is more important. So which point was the point of no return for you? Well, uh, when you when you walked in with your folks with your with your parents and then you were brought uh to you to to, to me apo apo mbele okay now i knew that umeletewa umeletewa i luggage and never returned <laughs> it's never going back to sender okay so that for me was the point where i felt like okay now we we really are doing this okay yeah what about you at what point did you feel that there's no turning back with this i think when he said kiss the bride you may now kiss the bride no, the, yeah. when pastor george said you you may now kiss the bride yeah. i was like We're finally doing this so might as well was it awkward for you kissing in front of people yeah it was yeah was it for you for me yeah no we did it twice <laughs> like, we do did... how far is too far we don't like this only how far is too far pastor <laughs> no yeah okay okay so i guess it's my turn oh, I I well, that really one. went deep what? quickly what that my answer oh yeah you don't feel like it was deep Was it really deep when we kissed? <laughs> If it meant nothing to you, fine. Mm. <laughs> at what point of your stag hen party? At the point of your stag or hen party, what had you learned about your what hey? Somebody could have played audio guys. Ah, at the point of your at the point of your stag stroke hen party, what had you learned about your partner? What did you think will be the most important quality that you, your partner or both of you have that will make your relationship work? We hey. understand. A letter. At at the point a letter. of your, do you know the drill? Let's go, let's go to this over. <laughs> uh so we are at the stag hen we at the stag hen party at this point, mm. Yeah. So what had you learned about your partner? Mm. So where picture mm. we kwa hapo. Na I like the way una get the picture yeah, just with it. So we get to call the Bible. We went at at it was a club restaurant. You remember mine? Where hey, yours was. Hey. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about we'll talk about it later. So what had you learned about your partner? That what had I learned about you? Yeah, I think that's the first part of this question. I think it's connected. Okay, then what? Because mm. I don't think you'd learned anything what, then. What, what had you learned? What did you think would be the most important quality that you or your partner or both of you have that will make your relationship work? I think I think you <laughs> are I think the humility. You know sometimes you unakonga na kichongo to some very small extent. But deep down, mtu akikupatia tu time to think about what you what you want with your life. You 
like you soften up and you come to your senses and you realize ah uh, the man of my life ben is very very right <laughs> so that's the one quality i know about you Humidity. that you can be you can be tough at first you know like Rrr! and then but i me me too late like two hours you know like when you use those guys who have those two hours they are so aggressive it's like they will kill you you know and then they, i don't like they, the right they, 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 that they'll do eventually So that's that's the one thing that I I knew about you then mm. and I knew that that would help us make uh things work. I think for me it was it was a gift of our friendship. I think I knew whatever mm. come what me. Yeah. Our gift of friendship would help us weather. Oh, wait, is, is that quality? Of, I think it's a quality. I don't know if it's a quality. What was wait, the question? No, the question is a now when do we chukua hapo ndio we begin mara mbili. Important quality that your partner or both of you have mm. and that's the gift of our friendship. Is, is friendship a quality? It it is not can't we just like answer it. Okay. So for me it was a gift of friendship. Yes, yes. Can't you don't... just answer it? Let's just let's take the answer <laughs> I've given you. <laughs> all right. What is a one habit or your partner has? So mm. imagine again all these questions we're imagining we're talking about start party or he, hen party 21. Okay. What is one thing or mm. habit that your partner has that you foresee annoying you the most? So imagine you're at your hen party. Mm. So which one do you see? Mm. Your start party, which one do you see? Take oh, yourself back. Start party. After Meomba. Two. Mm-hmm. Oh, Two yes. of them, you've been asked for one. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's let, me, let me do the most. <laughs> um, I feel like sometimes you get too anxious. Okay. About things. That annoys you. It gives me pressure as well. Cuz you know, doesn't need to life ni flow to na even you Like you just flow with life. Like whatever it's going. Sometimes There is the much you can do is just flow with it. All right, cool. Uh that's one number two is uh I can say it here. Ujuaji. Sometimes you Sometimes you do come off as as ujuaji on the small things. And you don't it, It's not a bad thing because you you know you're you're equally intelligent and sometimes you actually are right. But uh sometimes I think it's it's it, it's 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 overboard. What about you? What is the one thing? I'll just speak one because I'm yeah. fair and I like to answer questions that <laughs> we didn't ask. Just be honest, What is the one thing or habit that you foresee mm-hmm. annoying you the most? Who's slow now? Um, you have a tendency mm. to be petty. Who me? Yeah, like you do have like a inkling to be, to be petty. petty. So okay. I think that's what I foresee. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just to prove that I'm not petty, I won't even dwell there. <laughs> <laughs> take. Do you want me to take this question? I want number one. Because we're kuna vile bado lazima irudi kwangu ili This is number 13. If you knew uh, that you're going to end up if you knew that you're going to end up with your current partner no matter what you do, given the opportunity to go back and live out your singlehood, would you do anything differently? Nipe basi. Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 mm. If you knew that you're going to end up with your current partner no matter what you do. Mm. That's why I could explain here. Ka ungejua utaenda up na mimi. No matter what no matter what happened at that time. Eh. Given the opportunity to go back and live out your singlehood, mm. would you have done anything different as a single person? I wouldn't have I, I I think I wouldn't have wasted my time on all these other relationships. In as much as they teach you things mm. and like there's so many lessons that I've carried with me. Mm about how to relate with people about how to navigate certain circumstances i don't think i would have spent my time on those relationships because i knew either way mm. i case in point like i knew in 2011 mm. so i wouldn't have wasted my time in all those relationships i would have just waited yeah. for you because i knew but i feel like to, uh, i would not have preferred being in a, in, the, in this relationship like from the onset i knew i, I know would have, no wait mm. see boy, mm. <laughs> okay what's up you know i know, I no, know. it's because The person I was then and the person I am now are very different. But you see you know either way you end up with me. No matter what happens. Isn't that what the question is asking? Yes. Yeah. But you Leona feel like slow sana to understand this question. But okay, to move up this yako, it will make the video longer. Mm. But I feel like the one thing I would have done differently is I'd have I've worked on a lot of things about myself. Because I feel like faster. It, yeah. Okay. When I was still single because okay. I feel like I came into this relationship also with a lot of uh, baggage. Okay. came in uh, nilika nil mkuponea hapa it's like you have to do a few first things quickly quickly bandage the, the, the spirit so I, i think some of those things i wish i would have just worked on them when i was still Earlier. single yeah because okay. sasa ulikuwa una kama kuzi point out kwa relationship ukizi point out una nikatia una kula moto i get angrier yeah. so that's what i would have done differently so for you you would not have dated 
I don't you see wait mm. there's a question okay, okay, given now. the opportunity to go back and live out your singlehood would you do anything differently and the thing is mm. you would end up I would end up with you no matter what I do yeah then I I don't think I'm going to go again though in as much as like I hold the lessons dear mm. and of course they've taught me how to relate with different people and all that yeah but I'm just like There's no point. No no point of wasting time. Yeah. Let's go to the next question. Next. Oops. What do you think would most likely make your partner tear up on the day of your wedding? So imagine uko hapo pia na Bible size mko. Umetoka songs of Solomon Mendes. Proverbs. What did you think you most what do you think will most likely make me tear up on the day of our wedding? Did any of us cry? No oh, man like no. I don't know what's wrong <laughs> with that. <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with that. I, I almost broke down though. No you did. no and it was not because of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was because of my my grandma. grandmother. Yeah. She jumped on the on the when yeah. I was walking down the aisle. She just jumped in between. Yeah like, and you had a little a, moment. Can we protocol yeah. when she hugged me and all yeah. that stuff and that was so emotional. But you know we are gangster to the core. Street cred <laughs> lazima ibaki pale ju. Tena kulilia huko hivyo backset. So what do you think would be would make you tear up? Mm. Si kama pagola iko in the right place. <laughs> tear up with me, anger. <laughs> make it sound so no, dramatic. It's because it's because there was a way you wanted your setup to be. Yeah. I don't know if I should tell the story of how you, when you stepped out of the car and and, oh, and, and uh, uh, no, you that tell them this story no, was so funny no i have to say this story <laughs> so well, there, there's a way when you when you was very detailed about uh, the the death as of, is every person yes yes and it was okay but and the, everyone delivered and it wasn't a thing on, on the suppliers everyone did an excellent job yeah. in fact it's, what you what you were saying before is true what i mean is to come on after zingle cause haya tulilipia hii haya haya vitu zingle cause na kai you know like there's something that i mean ilikuwa na kam i came to find out that i don't think you should give this so you had <laughs> uh, at the front it was like how do you call that thing where the where the, the pastor, water body where the pastor the altar. so it was in front of the water body mm. where the pastor was standing it was a you look up a gola and then it had like a forest covering on top of it yeah. so it was very very cute <laughs> the way when you had thought it out <laughs> i love this as when you look up but to kwa gari you saw there were some guys who were like me kwa kaya for city and then you shuka gari sikushuka before to shuke ulikuwa shanza kuita excuse asha kuja Oh, what, what, Do you know I called belly? I called Angie. <laughs> Angie was unable to move that. I called my dad. You know my dad was waiting to walk down the aisle. I told him my dad is not walking down the aisle. Can you call my dad right now? I was like, dad, I'm not order. walking down the aisle until this people were move. talking yeah. because they are in my shorts. I love dad was like, okay, okay, don't worry. <laughs> Just speak to Angie. Like I feel like kido ulikuwa baksha you ulikuwa baksha tu kidogo ukimbia hapo mbele uatoe alafu sarudi kwa gari okay now the show can start cut <laughs> and that was so funny so to be very honest i'm not even joking i feel like the one thing that would have made you tear up is if you find that, that your setup i thought not even because of the emotions of the day and all that stuff but if you find like the pagola is wrong you place But um I know also what would have what would have made you tear up was uh when your folks handed you over to to our family yeah. and now you've left them officially and your dad have I left your, them your, though? your dad yeah. your dad made a very funny prayer when he was praying like yeah. like father well bless my daughter as I hand her over to these people <laughs> like to these people <laughs> and that was hilarious yeah but anyway what about you what I don't do you know think that story will make that good no that story has to make it's it's, it's funny I love um, it what do you think Uh, this one, yeah. What do you think would have made me tear? If I didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tear up. I would be willing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you exactly. want to actually want to watch one. So if I didn't tear up. Like I couldn't brush clear me go me cut like I can't. That's not for tearing up. That's for collapsing, you know. <laughs> so if I didn't show up. Yeah. Um number two, I thought the vows would make you tear up cuz I teared up when I was writing them the previous day. Oh really? I was so surprised <laughs> they didn't move you. No. I don't think you even remember them. But it was more to me as of us. To me as of us. Anyway, just to, take the I next one. So I think the major one is if I didn't show up. That was not part of the plan. Uh this is number four. What do you think your first fight after you are married will be about and how long do you think it will be before you have your first fight? Have you had your a fight in your marriage so far? So let me just help you understand this question. So somebody on a feel, they on a kupelekana pesa yako. Leo na kupelekana pesa yako. Imagine you're at your stag party. 
what what are you thinking your hen first party, fight yeah. or your hand party? What are you thinking that your first fight is going to be about? I think uh, living situation. Yeah. I think we're both different yeah. um, human beings. So different. Yeah. We complement each other, but we are also very, very different. Mm. So how tidy I am is not the same way. Like what? you're. What? No, I'm. I'm saying our tidiness is varying. Oh, I'm just saying something you can relate. No, it's no. But no, it's I'm not fun. saying who's tidy or oh, who is okay, not. Okay. I'm just saying yeah. our tidiness varies. So I think I such small, small things mm. um, would be our first fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah, do you, I, what do you think? Definitely, that's if, uh, sitting on my stand party. I am sure that one of the first things you're going to fight about is uh, putting things where they're supposed to be. Because sometimes you don't think it's important. You okay. know what I mean? It's yako. No me lipa red, no me lipa deposit. Kwa nini mtu wana kusumbua, penye uteleka laptop, ama penye uteleka balu. But isn't it funny how, even on, uh, even our, our, I think our first fight, and this has made me think of our first fight about marriage, because the, the question is, have you had a fight on your marriage so far. Our first fight was on that day of wedding the wedding. day, yeah. Yes, it was you on the day of what the wedding day. It was because <laughs> I had, I my I had carried home. my change of clothes because I knew <laughs> I'm not going back to my house. I'm not going to come from my wedding and go back to my house. So I had carried change of clothes. <laughs> yes, Prince Opesa, if she had carried her change of clothes, nothing. So we have to come from go the to venue, my folks. go to your foxes. <laughs> And you know part of the reason why I was slightly pissed is that now we won't go with the Mac. <laughs> I want to leave that oh, place. Marvel. Yeah, I wanted to leave with there within the S class. And now here I am driving. Driving, yeah, and you are. Yeah, I'm just driving. It was such home. an awkward drive because like my dress was just <laughs> like so I was there with my bulky <laughs> dress <laughs> in the <laughs> <awkward> driver. To me Bondeana, guys are waiting for us at Vima but for the party. You, yeah, but you, you had other stress because of the person who rook your folks. <laughs> so it wasn't just me. Yeah, like you know, a wedding, a wedding yeah. is just a drama. Wait, there's a question here. So yeah. at the Stark party, how long do you think? So imagine you're at the Stark party. Mm. I think you've taken a break from Bible study. Mm. How long do you think it will be before you have your first fight? Before you have. Yeah, your I've known fight? you long enough to know that I need to be ready for a fight anytime. It's like being in the army. It's so like it can happen anytime. That's not yeah. an accurate de- <laughs> depiction. No, it's just, it's just that me and you are strong personalities. Yeah, you know, that that's that's. One of the things you always need to factor in yeah. is that we are very tough-headed. <laughs> they just allow things. And so that has just made me to be always ready for war. It's like okay. Ukraine. Anyway, next question. Oh, I got number, number six. Number six. All right. Did you think you would be nervous about your vows? So we at the start party, mm. did you think? Yes. I thought I was Can you be honest? No, I'm so sorry. Kalama kidole basi. But the, when did you write your vows? The day before. You wrote them the morning of on the way to <laughs> You're like, oh crap. I have to get done with this. <laughs> for better, for worse. <laughs> for sickness and health. I will anyway, never leave you. Forget my haters. Um, did you think you would be nervous? By the way, why did I write my vows when we were driving to the... I think we... we because it's rude busy. and disrespectful. No, it because you don't... It was a very busy busy, season. Busy, but I found time. To write the vows. My friend, yeah. Aliandiki Akiwa <laughs> from Bele, well, on his wedding, and I remember, I don't want to snitch him, because he he's a famous person, but Ali, because I was on, I was just going to call him a phone. It's your guess, Sarah. How many Aliandiki are from Bele? Bele, Bele, you malize your line, you're just going to be disrespectful. Yeah. Did you think um, I would read through the vows smoothly? Yes, because you're very odd. In fact, that's, you did very well when you're reading them. Thank you. Not like you listen to some, uh, like some one who's doing I thought you would. I thought you would. I, I don't think vows. you would stutter. <laughs> um, what did you think you would do if your partner choked as they recited their vows? <laughs> I know for sure Ben would not cry. <laughs> the, the tears, the, my tears will not move his. <laughs> Yeah, but they tried being very emotional on that day. I was trying, like I was even telling the DJ, R&B, R&B. But there's and nothing I'm that not moves. crying, man, you know, I don't know why. Anyway, Did you think I? That you would cry. Mm. I actually thought you, you would, but I think you were cheering when you were saying your vows. Okay, take it back to Stark Night. It's so Stark Night. you're at your Stark party. Yes, I think Do you I think, think I will cry? Yes. I thought you Glad would. I proved you wrong. No, you, you were cheering. I okay. did not cry. You didn't, but you know you. I was not cheery. It's because you <laughs> like wearing makeup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, take. It's mine. Yeah. Okay. Hope I take number one, man. Number one. Ah, 
Number 20, man. <laughs> what is one quality you wish you had right before your wedding day that would have made you a better equipped partner and ready for your big day? You know, every time I answer these questions, I have to picture myself at my my hand party. Mm. Maybe someone is asking me this question. Mm. So please pass me the question. No, so no, I can no, ask no. Myself. What is one quality you wish you had right before your wedding day that would have made you a better equipped partner and ready for your big day? I think less anxious. I was very, very anxious about you the are. day and what the meaning of the day meant and then mm. all these people. Yeah. Because I tend to like small gatherings. Yeah. And now then all have these people. 300 plus people. Oh, wild. You. Yeah. So I think less anxious. Mm. It would have helped me throughout the day. I think I would, I would have, at least I would have been more patient with you to understand that maybe when I saw two change of outfits, <laughs> you know, I don't need to make that a big deal. Like, just when I saw you, my princess, I'm sorry. Let's go get them. <laughs> that day didn't go like, surely. But so that's, that's towards the end of the day. Like, the entire day, you would just be patient with me? Oh, um, a quality? What is one quality mm. you wish I had mm. before... No, we, you had before mm. the wedding day that would have made you a better equipped partner? Because if you say patience, you only had to practice patience towards the end. Can read that question? I miss you understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quality moja, where we been, unge nayo, that would have made you a better equipped partner mm. on our wedding day. I think kwa zote, poa. But um, let, let, let me not praise myself. I... Um, can we answer for each other? Like, so you say one part, one for, quality for that you think I yeah, should have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think you should have been more less anxious. To be very honest, okay. you were on high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. You know, even on the video that we did and we dropped it on YouTube and Instagram, kuna place when I said, "You didn't pick my call." And you had actually called me like five times. Five times, accurate. But I can't even. Did you ever see me angry? Look how happy. No, I think uh -huh. I, we just left the house, gave Mike my phone, mm. and I never went back to checking. Nani liko tu la vida loca, free life. You know that's the opposite. You, you should much. have been more present, not in the day. I feel like you should mm. have been more, um, like understanding of what the day meant. So at least pick my calls for you to know what's going through my mind on the day of our wedding. I didn't wedding. think you'd call. Okay, then that's crazy because if you don't <laughs> think I would have called on our wedding day, then I can't <laughs> help you past that. Like, like a taboo to call your partner and something. And you know sometimes those taboo things they really shake me up, you know. For real, Mr. Akilana, our Should I say now I that my, my first dress fitting who took me? <laughs> Ben took me for my first dress fitting. Like, and let me tell you, the, the moment, in fact, it's the guy designing the dress yeah. who told, I, I, I don't know how this story no, came up. No, he said, you know, most grooms don't take their, their brides okay. to see the dress. So now let's start the story from the top. <laughs> so it's, you're supposed to go do fitting on for your dress. And then but this is such an unnecessary story. Everyone who, was, everyone who was meant to take you was busy, was busy on that day. Yeah. So and Kapaleka, my sisters were out. I don't think they were in the, were they in the country. No, no, they were not. So, mini kakupeleka, you know, do a free, free flowing. Me, I didn't think that they, they are taboos to this thing. But it was the first time. Everyone was so nice at it. I put posy because I needed your dress. But it was the first time. Baby, you look so nice. The dress that I equal like him, him. Yeah, it was fast fitting. It was so weird. It had just pins all yeah. over, all over. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then now that guy tells me, hey, by the way, I don't think guys are supposed to be coming. I was like, what? You're telling me this now? It was so Will funny. We landed with the cars. We look at each other. We watch a video. Kiss her. At the book, watch a concert. We see I didn't know. I didn't know that I'm not supposed to be at a fitting. And safe to say that was the last time. Anyway, you I think. You need to meet your GIA West I think you should have been more, a little bit more present. Because of the phone. Because I feel like I was present. I was present at the wedding. You didn't see me, <laughs> uh, but but genuinely, even emotionally, even emotionally, I mean emotionally, I was there. I don't, I don't know. I was there. I was just very relaxed. You know, like for you, we're gonna pressure, man. We're gonna pressure. I don't know. I wish. We're just gonna do a kulinya sha na. So, which is kind of. Lily, we're gonna be on our to ten thousand. All of us, dad, na mom, na my sisters were firefighting. I'm telling you the truth. Nobody told me that the pagola ziliangu. Lily, we're gonna push. In fact, Lily, we're after the wedding. I think at some point, we're gonna be like, can you stop telling her anything that's happening with this wedding? You need to look at Rosalind. Just to Java. No, it's me. Okay. You've done that one. Okay. But no, that was so honest. That whole conversation. Ooh, number two. Before your wedding day, so you're at a stock party, what was your biggest concern or deepest fear? What do you think was your partner's biggest concern or deepest fear? So we can start with what was your biggest? Well, start, start again. Before mm. your wedding day. Yeah. So you're at the stock party. Yeah. What is your biggest concern or fear? 
our biggest concern is um, we'd finished a lot of balances. Yeah. Um, ah, my biggest, oh, my biggest fear was mm. our parents invite more people <laughs> and then the food is over. And the lady had just, you know, the lady was like, oh, by the way, if extra people come, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll charge serve you. them, <laughs> but I'll, I'll charge you. Yeah. So, you know, like, I, I remember at some, okay, this is, I didn't even tell you this, but I remember seeing if Kapo Mbele at some point, I was counting. This is five. <laughs> this is seven, this is 35, I'm 35 feet side one. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're playing a bit You know, you, you were counting people. <laughs> Me was making sure those people at Pombele can move. <laughs> Yeah. So, of course, the pressure for me was I didn't, uh, the big pressure that I had was I didn't want uh, guys to exceed the number. Mm -hmm. And now we have to pay more money. <laughs> what about you? Um, I think for me, it was more internal. Mm. Would like, what what am I doing? Am mm. I doing the right thing? Is mm. this the right time? Am I too young? Yeah. Am I too old? Yeah. All those just yeah. the questions on my, my yeah. mind. Yeah. But, you know, going looking back, I think if I would have done that day, if I would have made any changes on that day, I get a letter therapist to work on a walkie talkie. So I'm a Wanjiru, you're a champion. Calm down. What happened to you as a child? You have healed. You know. Yeah. What do you think was your was my biggest concern? What do you think? Oh, was Deco, my man. <laughs> you didn't even want to know much about me. <laughs> I'm sure maybe you were even calling me to kuniambia pagola zilianguka. Mm, maybe. I yeah. can't remember. I know Deco was a huge, huge part. But yeah. that place Zinia looked, delivered. That place looked beautiful. Yeah. It is also weird how it had not rained for months. Yeah. Um, we're talking about months. It had not Actually, rained when for... we went for the last side visit, it had dried up. Yeah, the water was almost uh, because of the way how dry it's been. I was about to ask for a refund. And then now on the day off, it's like an illness. Yeah. Man. Maybe it was a sign. Blessings. So you think mine was Deco? Deco, definitely. What I think I know. I think it was like your mother mm. inviting more people than she had given you a list for. Oh. Yeah. So I think you were about to be at crossroads with your mother. Because my mom is famous, yeah. man. Like yeah. She has so many friends. So I think <clears throat> that was your deepest worry. Oh, yeah, me too. Man. Yeah. Because my mom has friends. Yeah. I tell you when I was a child, I get Kosana na Made. What did you enjoy most about your single life? What did you enjoy the most about your single you life? Know, if you enjoyed. We were, we was, do you know, like me, I've moved from long term, long term. Yeah. Long term. Yeah. So I can't remember bits and bobs. I don't know. What do you think you have enjoyed other than playing them girls? <laughs> like they're jugglers. Like, you no, know, those bundles. Like like audition. <laughs> when you're on quarters, Africa semis. What do you think? Africa finals. What did you enjoy most? The fact that you, you don't have to keep uh, texting, like, you don't have the responsibility to keep texting You're somebody. You're accountable good to morning, someone. Good morning, good night. Yeah. Hey, Niko Apa. Hey, I'm safe. Mm. Imagine I saw a cop being arrested. Mm. He's a cop, you know, like, you know, those stories, the way you have to keep telling yeah. those stories in your, in your relationship. When I think single. same same for me. I think that just being in solitude and just being by yourself. You? Yeah. Do I Did you ever have a, a season where you were just single for more yes. than, let's say, two hours? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. How long have you been single? Maybe two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. Between M and T. Okay. Yeah, it's me. No. Okay, what has been the biggest difference between this relationship and other relationships you had? <laughs> I can't remember about the other relationships. <laughs> yeah, you might have clocked out. I have forgotten about them. <laughs> what, what is the biggest difference? Oh, man. I think for me, it's how healthy this is. Yeah. Like I am allowed to be my honest, truest, mm. authentic self. No yeah. judgment. So serious, huh? No, like <laughs> that's very, very important. Did you have like a uniform for Sundays? <laughs> Shut like, up. Work done by a wife. What about you? It would be interesting if this relationship is not different <laughs> from all your others. <laughs> no, uh, with this one, this head. Um, at least we were aware about our emotional baggage. That's healthiness. The the other one. The other ones, there was some that, you know, there was just so much happening, <laughs> man. Like, there's just, like, you feel like you, at some point in life, I thought I was a therapist. <laughs> like, out of, out of experience, you know, the, the way, like, like, you become a graphic designer because of when you may design posters more, <laughs> because of the many advices I'd I offer. I think that ties to, it's the same thing as healthiness. 
How healthy? Yeah, but now you see at that time, you know, I was not aware about, you know, you have to talk, you have to address your traumas, you mm. have to go to your childhood, check your life, your mm. friendships, where you're from. I never used to look at life that way. Yeah. Like, in fact, I was so shocked the first time we went for a therapy session. And we're going to have an episode on trauma, maybe not this one, mm. uh, where we'll discuss more. But I was really <laughs> shocked how she started uh, explaining my life and she was like, this is not normal, man. <laughs> this is not normal. I'm like, what do you mean this is not normal? You know? I've been trying to show you. Yeah, so the, the emotional awareness here is, yeah. is, is, is on high alert. Yeah. I like that for us. number one? Mm-hmm. 22. Where were you? These questions are me. 22. Yeah, these are, these are many. If you could fast forward five years into your relationship, what part of your story would you want to see the most? This is at the start party. Mm-hmm. Five years of into your relationship, which part of your story would you want to see the most? I think you as a dad. Like, you're a very fun, very <laughs> eclectic, very animated, very chill person. I would like to see how that translates into your uh, parenting. Yeah. I remember I told you, Joy would say, uh, my sister, my late sister, yeah. every time we'd, we'd, we'd play games, she was like, where are you talking about our daughter? How are you talking about our daughter? I'm talking about daddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so myself also is also seeing you as a, as, as a mom, parent. You're not going to be a fan of your sister. You're not going to be a drip. You're not going to be a drip. You're not going to be a People don't even use napkins anymore. Like diapers, uh, yeah. uh, extra, or yeah. designer. You're not going to be a baby show, you're Louis. May God help us with money, isn't it? Hey. Okay, this is 15. Did you think the wedding ceremony, the ring, or the marriage certificate will make a difference to your love and commitment to each other? Hmm, interesting. Hey, this is this is what is enough. I don't. I didn't think, and maybe that's why I said in the previous episode. Mm. For me, a big wedding ceremony was not like a a must-have thing because mm. I was sure of your commitment to me. Yeah. And not nothing like a ceremony or a ring or a, a marriage certificate, certificate would have changed. Because I think you're still as committed yeah. as you are. Yeah, I, me, myself as well. I feel like that was a, it was good for the for the formality and the respect families. of our families. Yeah. And also just just like, you know, involving the church, yeah. the, the folks, the friends, and celebrating the big day, which is important as yeah. well. But did it change who we were? In our commitment to each other, I don't think so. But, but for me, it felt like a sense of responsibility. Like now, I'm in charge of uh, ensuring somebody's. Uh, believe it or not, like <laughs> I, I was, I just like you feel like now you're in charge of ensuring somebody. He has to be safe. She's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always funny when you say that. <laughs> or when, when like I insist where? that, or like you remember when I insist that, hey man, we're eating meat a lot, man. See, we just slow down and have like maybe beans or something. Like, I don't know, that's what scientists are saying. <laughs> and they're like, ah, we'll let her go to Yeah, so I always feel like that sense of responsibility. Responsibility. That there's somebody else who, who expects you to be better. Okay. Hmm. But I think I always felt that for my, I felt like, whatever, a ring or all that never changed. I always felt the need to be better for you. Oh, wow, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, part B. Did you think there will be a difference in the level of commitment from you or your partner? No. What did you think getting married would mean for us? I think it will mean we live together. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Like like living together. And that also comes with its own drive as well. Because now you start Challenges. learning. Uh, do, do, do we do we have sh- do we sh- have shopping? Do we want to live like this? Yeah. Uh, what's our future plan? Where do we want to live? Where do we want to live? How are investing? Yeah. There's a, there's a certain drive that uh, marrying gives you. Hmm. Or it has given me. Let me not say. I don't know why I'm not singing for everyone. But it has given me. You know. That's like you have good. To grind harder, man. Because yeah. now the back kind of. Do you feel like your stops. your grind is now elevated? Oh, yeah, the grind has gone. You're yeah, like, I feel like things are really working out for me okay. in all areas music, podcasts. So, what, about you? Blessings, mm, what about you? I feel the same way. I feel like there is more drive. I've told you a million and one times there's a mm. certain mental stability that oh, I didn't yes. think I needed. Yes. I didn't think I was missing. But there's something about this that has mm. um, an officiating, whatever yeah. was between us. That has given me a sense of a, a certain. I'm still yet to unpack it because mm, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think I would associate getting married with yeah. some sort of like stability. Peace. But yeah, yeah. Important. Give up on getting number one. Number seven. Mm. Completion. <laughs> Go. 
up until the point of your star go hen party what had you enjoyed the most about your relationship what had you enjoyed the most mm. I, I think it's our ability to have fun. Then we are able to have fun wherever you put us, wherever, whatever we are doing, mm. we are able to have hmm. fun. Yeah. At least our version of fun. Yeah. You? What did I if at least you had fun. If what did I enjoy the Maybe most? Maybe you'd never had fun. About <laughs> our relationship. Oh, man. Who is it? Um, number seven. And it's number 12. Just answer the question. Actually, not after answering my head. <laughs> Just answer the question. What is the most fun thing about our relationship at that time? Nothing. No. no. Hmm. Um, everything, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. I don't know. There were, like, so many fun things, but I... There's I, nothing. I, 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 There's wait, nothing. Can I cut this? Wait. Just, like, this <laughs> thing is so disrespectful. Okay, to ask me that question again. Ah, you asked no, yourself. No, just ask me the you question asked again. You yourself. You're the one who I asked need to it. See, I need to find that number again. You know why I'm, why I'm confused about that question, uh, Shireen, for real, for real? Uh, it's, beca it's because uh, they're asking what was the most fun thing about your relationship before you got married. See, the same thing that were fun about the relationship uh, so have, you have now, have so now you been them. elevated. So you so you the fact them. that we can be very tight friends, we can have fun, we can just do a lot of things together. I don't think that there was something specific that we had fun about then that now doesn't happen anymore. If anything, so they have been... So what is your answer to that question? If anything, they've been elevated. So what is your answer to that question? You, your answer is that the ability for us to have fun. Yes. But we still have fun even in our marriage. Yes. So we are talking about a thing. What is your answer, Ben? Stop critiquing my, okay. my own. Our, our friendship. <laughs> that is such... <laughs> that is such... <laughs> a, like, like no. political instability, that's the <laughs> answer. <laughs> No, yeah, I ah. think we need to go to the next question. I want to see what I'm asking. Ah. What are you looking forward to most about being married? What? It's my turn. Like, just, oh, sorry, sorry, just sorry. stop. What are you looking forward to most about being married? Are you salty? <laughs> I want you to answer that question for yourself. <laughs> no. I, so these are the stag party. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Wait, what's the question? You just ask the question. In peace, Maze. We are, this is a peaceful show. What were you looking forward to most about being married? Living with you. Thank you. We are here now. Yeah, living with you. I was really looking forward and I'm enjoying it. Okay. Uh, what about you? What's the one thing you're really looking forward to? The fact that you're remember? unable to remember anything <laughs> about our lives. Anyway, for real, living with you also. I think after so many years of dating. Will get me in trouble. <laughs> hey, I need to be going through them before the show. <laughs> At number 17, did you think your partner will be nervous when the person officiating your wedding asks if anyone has any objection? Did they ask on us? No. They did ask. So how city letters work, and I don't know if other churches work the same, yeah. is that the announcement is made three Sundays before, before. the wedding day, just in case, you know, some, yeah. you know, somebody just pops up. Did you think that would happen in the three Sundays? No. No, in the no. three Sundays? Yeah. No, man, I, I didn't think. I me didn't, too. I, have, I, was I, like, I don't have a crazy ex out there looking for yeah. me. Yeah. Does that mean that my attachment style is secure? What does that mean? Because I didn't, I didn't think anyone would show up. No, no, no. no. You, you still have anxiety. <laughs> still have anxiety. No. I also didn't think. What conversations had you not had that maybe you should have had before your wedding? Hey, this is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> because we're too Mezoya superficial questions. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, what I have, have, have to look deep inside. Eh? <laughs> had you not had that maybe mm. you should have had before the wedding? What conversation? Is but you know, guys, seven years of dating, you really talk a lot about. Nah. Especially when, let's say, by the second year, you're sure yeah. that you're going to marry this And person. then you're spending so much of your time together these you seven see years. why it's hard for me to answer what I want. No, you're not getting out of that one. <laughs> <Like> guys, monitor. <laughs> <laughs> what conversations had you not had? Mm. Can we, is there, I don't know. I don't think Maybe so. Maybe you tell me. I'm trying to think. That, Maybe the small, small things, which we had also discussed... Maybe just in the small, minute things, but not in the big things. Things like children, we had already discussed kids. Money. Money, we had discussed money. Um, Six years is a long time. Uh, about uh, work, 
we, we had discussed. discussed about work. Yeah, we were into each other's work. Yeah. I don't think there's anything. Yeah. Maybe if it comes up, we'll leave it in the comment section or something. Yeah. We can do a live. We'll pin it. Ah, number one. <laughs> Ooh, this doesn't come easy. <laughs> Just it's all it. hard work and determination. Imagine yourself in 10 years celebrating your 10th wedding anniversary. What three words do you want to describe your marriage? So I'm at, we at our hen, I'm at my hen party mm -hmm. in Kile. Mm -hmm. I'm describing my your marriage 10 years from now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yours was in Kile. Mm -hmm. oh. Fun. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, love. I would want for us the love yeah. to be there. And respect. Fun, love, respect. Yeah. Oh, it's like the loyalty pledge. Mm -hmm. uh, mine would be fun. Uh, spiritual. Imagine if you still describe it. Okay. Inspirational yeah. for who? Inspirational for both of us. Because okay. I feel like we push each other, even, even work wise. Yeah. You know, I like the way you work, I like the way you have order. Yeah. And I don't know I don't know if there's anything work wise <laughs> you admire from me. Yeah. But who knows? Nice. Maybe not. Nice. <laughs> um, question three. They say the first two years of marriage are mm. possibly the most difficult. We've been married for three months. What would <laughs> yeah. we know? Nothing. What do you think? Do you think it will be difficult? The first three years? Yeah. The first two. I don't know. I'm here to find out. I don't think. I don't know if it will be. At, at the start party, somebody's asking me. If the first if two the years. the first two years are going to be hard. Yeah. At that point, I'd be 50-50 because, you know, at that point, I've not lived with you. Yeah. That's the start party. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you, if you, if there are things that maybe you're going to show me that you have not shown you me know. in the relationship. So I'd be 50-50 about it. But on the flip side, there's yeah. also this person that you have known for, for, for a long time. For a long time. Yeah. And I know. So there's kind of, con and the fact that we've weathered so many storms. Because yeah. I told you, like after, I don't know if I can see this, if you mm -hmm. don't, we'll remove it. After your sister passed on, I, I told see. you, I don't think we, I didn't think we'd survive it. Oh, yeah. I don't think, I didn't think our relationship would survive Why? it. I, I know what she meant to you. Mm. I know, I, I, I saw you going through her sickness and then mm. now her passing. Yeah. I didn't think our relationship, and I saw how that took a toll on us. We weren't yeah. as strong mm. during that period. Yeah, we, we were very. We yeah, we Anna. were we were going through the most. So mm. I didn't think. So when we weathered that storm, yeah. then I think that gave me confidence. So if someone was asking me this, mm -hmm. mm. I would say then. Yeah, mine is also fifty fifty. I didn't know what to maybe. <laughs> Not 50 50, mm. it would be below like 85 15. Mm. I'm not sure. The 15 percent, maybe, yeah. maybe one can see now. I have to make my house soundproof. No, I'm a night runner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for this question, assume that uh, assume this is your best friend who knows all your insecurities about this relationship, and they're asking, Are you sure you want to do this? What's your answer to them? Yes. What's your answer? Yeah, this Imagine point, if you say no. At the start party, Hi. at the start party, but after concert, you paid for all those things. You yeah, you're like, I'm um, so food and I could threaten. To sort of issues or what? Like, hey, at that thing, you, at that thing, you solve everything. Yeah. Because of, because of what's, what's really at stake. Plus, yeah. also, I think also um, marrying or having a wedding, it requires some level of confidence. Yeah. Uh, some courage to it, you know. Even where, in the unknown. Yeah, where you decide that now we are venturing into this space. You know, I know people fear they were all those things, uh, divorce, mm. people fear loss of life and all that, but... Kinda, kinda. Uh, yeah, you can't live life hoping for the worst. Yeah. You know? Just live life. We're almost done with this episode. We are. Describe your single life as a book title or as a song. <laughs> I don't mind, Gabriel Union, we're gonna need more wine. Wait, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> What's yours first? No, I want to understand you. Yeah, we're gonna need more wine. See, like all the drama that I had to end. Oh, that you had. Oh! <laughs> we're gonna need more wine. <sighs> Mine would be exploring Africa. <laughs> I, I did it well, you people. had one Nigerian chick. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I did it so many people. I, I tried it out with so many different people, people of different religions, uh, of different races. When it comes to exploring <laughs> Africa. You, know, you have to be extra for the book to sell as well, you know? You have to have like a captivation yeah, title. Yeah, like ref references on Azapon of okay. Vasco Gama. As a song? As a song? Mm. Mm. Save your... Tears for another day. 
<laughs> that would be you. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, so ah, uh, go back to those RMPs. Is it Lil Wayne? The one that I love. Oh. Yeah. Is it Tawala? Uh, Which one is it? <laughs> can be such Christianese. Ah, uh, if it's a title song. I don't know what you I'm know about that. You a drink. What you know about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. T-I. Oh, you should have been. A, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, T Pain. Yeah, you and all them girls. <laughs> no. All right. Do I do the other two, or you want to no, answer? No, just do just do what you're supposed to do one, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll do the final one. All right. What do you think you mo- you would miss most about not being married? To be honest, very very honest, mm. is the fact that I was in charge of the playlist. I was in charge of what You're I'm watching. You're still doing that no, right no, no, now. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I actually let you have it. I only do I that until on one laptop. day. Until one day, it's <laughs> show, and then you start coming. You start coming. You unanza kusema. I don't allow you to watch. I know. No, no, no. And then I give you the remote, and then 15 minutes in, you're bored. Then All you right. Back. What do I think I'll miss most about not being married? Yeah. What would you miss the most about not being married? Imagine nothing comes top of my mind because oh. I'm able to still do the same thing. What about living at home? When, you know, somebody... I'm still able to go home and see my parents. No, but when you're living at home, the back used to stop with somebody else, all the food, like, <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a huge adjustment right now. Now, yeah, um, you have to keep asking me, Ben, no, not cool, any message, we all are not cool. Any. But I don't think I'll miss it to the extent where, like, mm-hmm. I want to go back to that life. Does the question say we'll go back? No, it says, what do you think you'd miss most oh, about not being married? Why you are not going back? <laughs> See, there's I'm no return, saying. baby. <laughs> but I think, yeah. But there's not much because I have, I still have the freedom to do things. Like if I wanted to see my mom right now, mm. I would just, I'll actually go see her after this. Yeah, and you're very tight with your mom. Yeah, so it's. Yeah. What about my dad? When are you guys meeting? <laughs> When's the last time you guys spoke? Just <laughs> because. You're so petty. You know, you want to attack you and you say, I keep you coming here. Women nowadays are not like. I when was the last time we met dad. This is number 14 and this is the last one. So how's the show been for you so far? It's been Enjoying it? Just answer. Enjoying it's a question, question I threw at you. The back there, I'm sorry. It should be. No, it, we okay. answered it. We answered it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so guys, this is the question. This is number 14. D- did you m- mutually agree to the first dance song? Describe what you hope what for the dance, dance song? to be like. What dance song? <laughs> what is this idealistic question you're sending us? <laughs> did you have a dance song? We had the senior team. Nego kenna, nego kenna. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Do you That's have like a first <laughs> what, I what? think at the point of reception, mm. we just wanted this thing to be over. Over oh, here. I'm just like, I just need to rest. Oh, man, I was so excited about those dance moves. We didn't have a, a dance moves. Excited song about the Bahasha. <laughs> well, they were that, man. Like, sorry, I counted sorry, the money. Sorry. Like, I counted the money on day one. <laughs> like, before we even slept. I knew how much we <laughs> were <laughs> Mr. Irongo in the I building. Like, um, <laughs> Tata, she can't even hear Tano. Wake up, bro. Like you guys, I wish she was lying. She's like, this was this was at the hotel room, you know. This is wrong in the building. Oh man, like, I by the time for, I was sleeping, I knew how much I money we had. I love how money counter check. I book it, I book counter check. You, you compare on account. Oh my God, I love money and the key to do it. How much? <laughs> Yeah, that was you. You were just concerned with. Oh, Nani Alipiana, yo. Now you, Nani Now you, you know me. Me, I just wanted to know how much we have. Yeah. And I come to me Maliza Kulipa, our our videography team. Yeah. I come to me Maliza Kulipa Nyawera, who was photographer. Shiko. Shiko. Yeah. Those, those were some of my biggest concerns. Man, this was a. I think this was a very fun episode. Man. Yeah. Do you remember your start party now? Oh, my stag party was 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 really nothing. Maliza my baby what's going on? Memory bus compared to yours. <laughs> Yeah, you were poor. You were in a deco. Yeah, yeah. a dress code. My sisters and my friends did the most. My home is young. We were like, I think I'm selling in the job. As boy, Jerry, Jerry, ah, but they couldn't in your bed. Did you know I knew? I don't know. I was told to make sure you don't have anything planned on that day. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, it was a very simple hangout. Like, at a walk on a jolly villa, I was surprised. Like men are so low budget. <laughs> yeah. You're like men. Men are low maintenance. Maybe it's your board. friends. I don't know, um, gentlemen, if you're watching this and you you let me know about your yeah. stag party. But I think experience. bridal showers are made like to be very. Yeah, you, grand. Yeah. you guys had you even had gifts. Yeah. These guys didn't give me nothing. <laughs> like, they just gave me advice on their time, <laughs> and I appreciate them so much. But you and somebody brought you Soroski. Yeah. Ali spend that was like 
10k plus yeah see to look like nyama but but fantas fantas it was not come non stop unataka ingine band mlete ingine baridi kama tu hiyo hiyo my bro was there as well you had fun yeah, mine it was, was really it was fun chilled, my mom chilled. came to mine Oh my my folks were my folks were not even here. Anyway, only my brother was there. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you guys in episode 6. Make sure you subscribe guys. Yes. Adios. Bye.